Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. With Jack's special guest, Johnny Carson. Thank you, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. Now, on various occasions, I have walked out here on the stage and talked about the fan mail that I have received. You know, some good, some bad. But uh, there are other ways besides fan mail where people show their appreciation. Like, uh, for instance, well, how do you like this, uh, this uh, beautiful blue tie that I'm wearing? This came from a fan see and um, take these uh, these shoes they're a gift too see and these shoes are made of real genuine alligator skin see? and um, well they didn't actually send me the shoes you see when I opened the box there was a live alligator in it <laughs> And you know, it was, uh, it was a species, a, a, a most dangerous species of, of, of alligator. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but it had a long blue tongue. <laughs> the knot is one of his tonsils. <laughs> Mr. Benny. Mr. Benny. People have sent Mr. in... Benny. Yeah. Oh, oh, so soon? Yes, right now. Right now. Oh, well, I didn't expect... Oh, all right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't expect to do this so early in the show. But you see, Don Wilson is on the corner of Hollywood and Vine doing one of those, you know, man-on-the-street interviews. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Don Wilson speaking to you from the corner of Hollywood and Vine. I'm just going to chat with some of these good people passing by here and ask them what they think of our fine sponsor. Oh, 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 oh mister, mister, excuse me. Speak with you for just a moment, please. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, that's a microphone. <laughs> yeah, don't try to hide it. Hey, I know what you're doing. You're Alan Front and I'm on candid camera. <laughs> No, no, I'm not Alan Flood. Don't kid me. Boy, you look a lot fatter in person than you do on TV. <laughs> hey, what night is this show going to go on? But, mister, what I... Hello, Alice, Elsie. I'm close to my sisters. You know, Mr. Funt, they always watch your program. Look, that's just what I'm trying to tell you. You're not going to be on candid camera. Oh, I'm not good enough, I guess. You don't think I'm important. Well, let me tell you something, brother. I used to be a very big man. <laughs> Once I built a railroad. Run <laughs> against time. Once I built a railroad. Now it's done. Jack, 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 Jack take it away to the studio. Take it away, Jack. Well, it seems that uh, Don is having a little musical trouble, so we'll get back to him later. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to get on with the show, it gives me great pleasure to present a young fellow who is doing a marvelous job on his own Tonight Show in New York City, Mr. Johnny Carson. Johnny, I want to welcome you to my program and welcome you back to Los Angeles. Thank you, Jack. You know, I can't tell you how, this, uh, how exciting it is to me to be here because I started right here in television about 12 years ago. Right here in Los Angeles? Well, not only that, but strangely enough, right in this very studio. I used to be an usher. You? You were an usher in this studio? Right. You mean you used to be one of the fellows who would let the people in to see my show? No, no. The, the other fellows let them in. I had to keep them in. <laughs> I was sort of the opposite of a bouncer, Jack. <laughs> oh. Well, now, Johnny, I know you're kidding. You know I know you are. You're just making this whole thing up. Well, you know I am, Jack. Can I tell you something honestly, though? When I was an usher here, well, 12 years ago, I used to watch you all the time. Really? And you were my idol. 
And watching you do your show was like kind of going to school. And I started to emulate you. You know, I, pretty soon I was moving my hands like, like you do. Mm -hmm. And after a little while, I was even walking like you do. And before you know it, I was no longer an usher. What happened? They made me an usherette. Johnny, getting back to you, you know, I know how accustomed you are to working in a certain set on your own show, uh -huh. so I wanted to make things as comfortable for you as possible. Really, Jack? Yeah. Now, I'll show you what I did. Open the curtains, please. Uh, what, what do you want? I'll show you. Uh, yes, sir. Well, Jack, I'll tell you one thing. You were right. You know, it does make me feel more comfortable and more relaxed. Just like home. Well, I'm glad. Because... Uh, Johnny, um, you know, I have, I'm glad to hear you say that because I have a few suggestions that I'd like to make. Now, I watch your show all the time, you see, and I have some suggestions to make that are, I think are of value. I hope you won't mind. Mine? Jack, are you kidding? I mean, suggestions coming from a man who's been in show business for years and years and years and years and <laughs> years. <laughs> Jack, aren't you going to stop me? Why should I? My career hasn't even started yet. <laughs> now, Johnny, I think you're a great comedian. Well, I really do. But I have a suggestion to make. If you want to remain in show business and stay up there, uh -huh. I mean, you better start to develop some other kind of talent instead of just sitting behind that desk talking. That's not enough. There's a question. How long you can get away with it? <laughs> I think I know what you mean. Now, you, for example, you just weren't satisfied with being a, a comedian and a monologist. You also mastered the violin. Exactly. <laughs> now, that's, that's the point I'm trying to bring up, Johnny. Oh, mm -hmm. You should learn, so have something else to do. Well, Jack, now, I've never capitalized on this, but I... I can do some card tricks. Card tricks? Yes, I have a deck of cards here with me. Oh. Maybe I can show you, show you what I mean. It's a mm. deck of cards, you see? I'll mix them up a little bit here. And we'll cut them. Like that? Mm. This, you see. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that what you like, Jack? Well, uh, Johnny, look. Everybody does car tricks. That's a, they do it at parties. They drive you nuts. I think you should take up something, you know, perform, like, with a musical instrument or something like that. Well, now, let's see. Now, about 20 years ago, I used to fool around with the drums a little bit. Now, I suppose I could, you know, get them out of the attic and brush up. That's what I mean. Oh. That's the thing people... Oh. Wait a minute. Huh? You can try it right now, if you'd like. Now? Certainly. Oh. Hey, fellas, would you bring out the drums, please? Well... Oh. <laughs> You've got everything here, haven't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. Alligator skin? <laughs> I had some left over. Now, go ahead. Jack, I, I really don't know. It's been, it's been so long since I played that. Well, do the best you can. What's the difference? Okay. Jack. Well, 
I don't know. To me, without the fife and flag, it's nothing. <laughs> now, Jack, I'll tell you what. Maybe I should just... Joe, oh, forget about the drums. They're very noisy anyway, and I'll just stick with my singing and my dancing. Oh, well, well, well don't bother. You no, I don't. Point. I like to... I know, but we haven't well, you got time now. If I, do, you know, I know, but we it. haven't got time now. Now. Get it? You put your two knees close up tight Then you sway them to the left Then you sway them to the right Step around the floor kind of nice and light Then you twist around and twist around With all your might Spread your loving arm Right on his face Then you do the eagle rock with a style and grace Swing your foot way round Then bring it back Now that's what I call ball in the jack around and twist around with all your might. Stretch your loving arms right on the face. Rock with style and grace. Swing your foot way round and bring it back. Now that's what I call ball in the jack. Now, Johnny, I didn't know. I don't know why I had to drag all of these things out of you. If you're that versatile, why don't you do some of that stuff on your own show? Well, I'll tell you why, Jack. To be honest, I'm too busy acting. <laughs> acting? <laughs> you call that stuff that you do sitting there behind that desk? You call that acting? <laughs> what kind of acting is that? Jack, you remember the last time you were on the show with me? Yes. Do you remember what you said or what we talked about? I think I do. Well, now, let me show you something. Now, as long as you went to all the trouble to bring my set here, why don't you go backstage and I'll reintroduce you and I'll recreate that portion of the last show when you were with me. And I'll show you what, what acting. Go backstage. I'll give you the regular introduction like and I did. Then you'll you. show me that you can act? I'll give... show you exactly what I mean. Just go on backstage. Please. I'll, I'll give you a big introduction, then you come out and sit and we'll talk. <laughs> now, Jack thinks that I can't act. I don't have to on this show. But you see what the audience doesn't realize half of the time is that, well, they don't know what I'm really thinking. You know, the thoughts that actually go through my mind when I'm talking to one of the guests. I'd like to show you what I mean by acting. Are you ready, Jack? Okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I come to one of those rare moments that makes this entire program worthwhile to me. A chance to introduce one of the all-time greats of show business. A man who's not only talented, but tremendously versatile. And certainly one of the sweetest and most lovable individuals in all of show business. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Jack Benny. <laughs> Johnny, I, uh, I want to thank you for that wonderful, wonderful introduction. Well, you know? Jack, you, you certainly deserved it. Hmm. Why should he thank me? He wrote it himself. <laughs> you know, Johnny, I came to New York to relax and see a few shows, you know, and enjoy myself. Understand? And I was hoping I wouldn't have to make any personal appearances on television shows. And how you found out that I was in town, I'll... I'll never know. <laughs> well, Jack, let's just say it was one of those happy accidents. <laughs> happy accident. 
He's been in town three days, called me 29 times. <laughs> Johnny, I'm sure you didn't ask me to come over here just to sit down, so what would you like to talk about? Well, Jack, I don't think it makes any difference in the world. I think my audience would be interested in, well, in whatever you have to say. I think they'd hang on every word. Well, all right, let's see. What shall I talk about? You know, I've had a lot of interesting experiences. Oh, I hope he doesn't bore us with that story about what happened to him in Chicago. Oh, I must tell you a story about what happened to me when I was playing at the State Lake Theater in Chicago. <laughs> Wonderful, Jack. Wonderful. You know, I never get tired of that story. I've heard you tell it at least a dozen times. Parties and benefits, and you do it so beautifully. Please, please tell it again. For this alone, I should get an Emmy. <laughs> In order for you to appreciate the story, I have to read you a review I got on my act. Oh, you see, at the State Lake. Uh, I got it right here. Sometimes I carry it with me oh, sometimes. No. Uh, you know. that, that review? Yes. This is right here. <laughs> oh, it starts on the other side. <laughs> Some review. I've got a shower curtain smaller than that. <laughs> now, um, I have to read the whole thing because every word is important. Oh. I just want to. I just want to clean my glasses a second. Oh, I've just got to stop it. I know. I'll fake a commercial. <laughs> now, here we are. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack, I know you'll forgive me, but I have to interrupt here. It's, it's time for a commercial. You understand? It's oh, business before pleasure. Listen, I've been in this business long right. enough. I know you'd understand, yeah. Jack. Sure, I can read this after a while. Ladies, you know, there are times when you're just too tired and you don't want to take out the vacuum cleaner, and yet there is dust and dirt and lint on the floor, sometimes even scraps of paper. <laughs> out the old whisk room and just <laughs> and of course your floors again are sparkling clean <laughs> go ahead jack <laughs> oh, for guy's sake look what i did i i tore up your review I, i'm sorry jess <laughs> well that's all right johnny I just happen to have another one here with me. <laughs> Sometimes I have two in it. <laughs> I'll read this later. Oh, but it is. It, they'll love this. I don't read it. But I'll tell you, I'd rather play the violin. You know, I brought my violin and I put it oh, here. Really? I'd rather play the violin. <laughs> Look, the uh, violin. Jack, 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 I'll tell you what. Look, I don't think it's necessary you play the violin. The only reason I wanted to do this scene was to show you how much acting I have to do on my show. And I think we've accomplished that. I have a feeling that you don't want me to play the violin. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Down with the curtain, fellas. Now, Johnny, yes. you've proved to me that you're a very versatile young man, and I want to thank you for being on my show. Well, Jack, thank you. It's been a lot of fun. And may I say one thing to the audience? Yes, correct. I don't want them to feel that the scene we just did anyway reflects how I feel about you. I think Jack Benny is one of the greatest artists of all times and a wonderful performer. <laughs> and Jack, I, I'm amazed how you go on year after year. Never seemed to change at all. I don't know how you do it. But whatever the secret is, you found it. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Good night. Good night. He's sweet. <laughs> but I don't know what's so amazing about it. I mean, practically every guest star I have says the same thing. You know, when you love show business like I do, you stay in it some way or another. And now, ladies and gentlemen... I'd like to play for a change something classical, the Wieniawski Concerto.
Oh, hi, Mr. Carson. Oh, excuse me, fellas. I didn't know anybody was in here. Oh, that's all right. We're just waiting for Mr. Benny to come off stage. Well, he ought to be in a couple of minutes. He's just winding up the show now. I thought I'd borrow a little of his cold cream to take the makeup off. How'd the show go? Oh, great. As usual. Hey, you know something? That Jack Benny is absolutely amazing. I mean, the way he goes on year after year. He never seems to get any older. He looks the same year in and year out. I can't imagine how he does it. Well, that wraps up another one. started 15 years ago. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you enjoyed the show. How about that finish we had? Wasn't that the most ridiculous thing you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever, you ever heard of? I want to thank Johnny Carson for being on my show, and I'll be seeing you folks soon. <laughs>